guys, so I have been gone for quite a bit on my channel, and as you can see, I have a new puppy. Her name is Luna, and she is 11 weeks old. I've had her since she was six weeks old. Some of y'all might remember Jade. Jade is actually her mom. So this little thing is a handful. Um, I just kind of wanted to update y'all. Yes, this is a new area because I just moved to Greenville. So now that I'm closer to work and everything, it's much more convenient. I can see her on my lunch break, which is where I'm at now. Um, also, you may see like a whole bunch of crap back there. <laughs> Um, that's from her. She loves her toys and she loves boxes. Um, you can probably see a ton of boxes back there. That's all from her. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to get on here and update you guys. Um, show y'all my puppy, how cute she is. Um, I actually named her after Luna Lovegood. I'm a big Harry Potter nerd. So um, her name is Luna after Luna Lovegood and she's just the cutest little thing. <laughs> I'm still potty training her so um, she still wakes me up like a ton um, last night wasn't so bad she woke me up like once but I wanted to show y'all um, even though I haven't been on YouTube I've definitely been buying a lot of makeup I have a huge box for you guys um, to show you guys and uh, yeah so I guess let's just get into it um, I'm gonna put Luna down her nickname's Lulu by the way um, she, I don't want to let her in my room, so I'm actually going to pause this really quick and put her out there. That's why the gate's right there, because, um, she'll terrorize my stuff. I have a bunch of stuff on the floor in my bedroom, and she'll terrorize it all, so I don't want her to do that. Um, so I'm probably going to go pause this, put her out there, and then I'll show y'all what I got. So, let's just get into the video. All right, I've had these in a box for a while. By the way, you may see her move around back there. My living room is back there and she just goes wherever she wants. So anyway, I have gotten a ton of stuff. I've kept it all in this huge box for a while now and I've been waiting to show y'all. So I'm gonna kind of go through this stuff fast. I've just kind of kept it together so that I can show y'all all at once, then I can divide it into my collection. So actually the first thing I wanna show y'all is the soft glam palette. I have already used this and I love it. Um, I love ABH formula. I'm not gonna get the Norvina palette just because it looks, it doesn't look like something I would use. This is more of an everyday palette for me. Um, it has its black um, and then just the lid shades seem more up my alley. Um, I do like purples, but not too much. I actually like more berry. Um, colors like the modern renaissance so and I actually got that on sale I had like a $10 off coupon on anything at Ulta so I actually got it for like 30 something dollars instead um, let's see I also got this it was a little limited edition it cosmetics brush kit and I got this on sale too I haven't even opened this yet I just wanted to um, show you guys the beautiful packaging and then I'll be ripping into it and putting the brushes in my little holder thing um, let's see. Oh, this is something I really want to try and I got this because the other day my friend and I were actually talking about how we always miss a spot and we never realize it until we're out after we shave our legs. So this is a portable razor thing. Um, it has three different sections where you can uh, spray and then you put soap and then you can um, shave. So I wanted to try this. Um, by the way, most of this I got with a 20% off coupon um, that they sent out or I had um, points or it was on sale. I usually never buy anything full price, um, very rarely. So I got that and then I got replacements in here somewhere too. Um, I don't know really where I put those. Um, the next thing I got, um, is this Daily Jade Facial Roller. I wanted to get the Nurse Jackie one and that one seemed very pricey. This one um, seemed like kind of the same thing and I also wanted to test it out before I got something you know more expensive like that. Um, by the way if y'all hear the squeaking that is Luna. She um, likes squeakers and I put them in like odd socks that I find and she'll just carry it around like a little toy. So <laughs> anyway, that's what that is. 
Um, but I want to put this in the freezer and see what it feels like on my skin. I haven't used it yet and I actually bought my mom one too. Um, her birthday's coming up so I bought her one and hopefully she'll like it too. Um, next I got, oh here's the refills. So it comes with a refill um, soap and then some blades and then I think you can just like, you know, fill the water part up. Um, I got this BB, uh, Bumble and Bumble, not BB. Well, it says BB, but anyway, Scalp Detox. Um, I have used this once already and I love it. Um, I'm not sure how much it actually removes the buildup from your skin, but, um, it feels really good and so, yeah, I like it so far, but we'll see how much it, you know, helps my scalp over time. Um, next I got the Clinique Super Primer Universal Face Face Primer. Face Primer. Wow, cannot say that. Um, so this was just like a cream. Um, it made my skin really smooth. I liked it. Um, it goes on white and then it's just clear. But I really liked it. It seemed like my pores were smoothed out and stuff like that. So I want to give this more of a shot. Um, I only used it once so far. A lot of these I either haven't used or I've only used once. Um, like this Urban Decay Velvetizer I haven't even used yet. Um, I have so many powders. But um, yeah, I really want to try this because there's so, so much rave about it on YouTube that I really wanted to try that out. Um, this actually got on sale for $16. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow. I saw, who was it? Hey, she does that too. She'll sit right there and really want to get in and I feel really bad, but I can't let her in here because there's so much stuff on the floor. She was whining so much, so she's now on my lap. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna keep her on my lap right here. I only have a few things left, so. Anyway, um, this pa palette right here, um, I got on sale for $16. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I love it. This is a one and done, I mean, it's just a perfect compact. Um, so I'm really, really glad I got this while it was on sale. Let's see, then I got, oh, this is a new product. It's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer. I've used this once and I actually like it. I have oily combination skin and it was pretty nice. Um, you get a pretty decent size and I think it was only 20 something dollars, I believe, I don't know, but I used my points to get it. So I do like that. It's a horrible shade range, but I do like it. Um, oh, I also got this. This is my first NARS lipstick. So this is the NARS, it's a duo actually, and I think I'm gonna give away the lips, the, what's it called? Satin lip pencil. Um, but the lipstick is mainly what I wanted. I mean, that is just the perfect nude for me. It's in the shade, I think it's, it starts with an R. I can't find it. Rose Cliff. So, really, really like that. And I can't wait to start using that. I haven't touched it yet because I'm like, oh, it's, you know, it's so expensive. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> so, I haven't done anything with that. Um, oh, this is another thing. I bought strictly for the packaging, okay? So, I bought this. It's, look how freaking cool. This looks like a CD, right? Well, look at this. If I can open it. Look how freaking cool this looks and it's a palette it is so awesome and the products are actually very good what luna what baby she's so whiny what you want to see the palette <laughs> she's so cute and so mischievous she's smart though she's already doing um training lessons at petco and she already knows how to sit so I'm very, very proud of her. Um, I guess you're just gonna sit like that for now, okay? Anyway, I bought this strictly for the packaging, but the products are actually really good, and it was on sale, so um, double bonus. Let's see, I'm not gonna swatch a lot of these now that I'm holding her like this, but I also got the Phys Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. Um, a couple people, I think Babs Beauty, was raving about this in one of her videos and I was like oh my god that highlight is banging I love a banging highlight this isn't even like banging enough for me this is like an everyday highlight so I really 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 like this I did try it once um 
Then I got two Ofra, it's like blush strips, blush bronzer strips. Um, I use them as highlights though. I usually go, well this one I use as a blush. Um, this is coral blush stripes and then this one is illuminating blush stripes and I use this as a highlighter. They're gorgeous and they were on sale for $15. Um, I also got, oh, I got the Bare Minerals. These were also on sale, if I can hold them. Um, the Invisible Bronze, it's like a baked bronzer, and it is so gorgeous. I'm gonna show y'all one. Um, I got Medium, and then I got Deep. Medium's like my everyday. Deep is more of like a sun-kissed reddish bronzer, um, and I do like that being used sometimes on my cheeks as well. I've I've been gearing towards the red tone bronzers here lately. So um, I even got Becca, what is it called? Oh, is it? In, oh, I think it's in here too. Yeah, it is. It's Becca Maui Nights and it's actually also a reddish bronzer. So it looks like this. And if you just lightly sweep it on your cheeks, you look so sun-kissed. It is really, 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 really pretty. That's like been my go-to one. Um, as well as um, today I've been using the Makeup Forever, the new ones, um, in the single palette. I don't have it here, it's in my car, but. What, baby? What, you don't want me filming? You want my attention? Look at her, look at her. <laughs> she doesn't even have all her teeth yet. <laughs> <laughs> she's so tiny. What, baby? Oh, and she's not going bald, by the way. This happens with Yorkies. She's a Yorkie poodle mix, and um, Yorkies at their the front of their head, it looks like they're going bald, but it's really just the silver hair that's coming through, so she's not going bald. Um, let's kind of, I guess, rush through these. I also got a Persona highlighter. Um, I've been seeing a lot of rave reviews about that. I actually bought two of these with my 20% off. Um, it's the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. It is so gorgeous and the best freaking gold highlighter for fair skin. Um, fair, light skin, I mean really any skin type can use it, but love it. Um, then I got a bronzer and one of the blush duos. Let's see, oh I actually got two of the blush, oh trio. Two of the blush trios, this one's in Cocktail Party and this one's in Peachy Love. Um, Peachy Love, um, what's her name? Oh my God. She has the, um, I can't remember her name. Anyone I mentioned though, I'll link below. I cannot remember her name for anything, but she has a site for, she has a dog and she has where, oh my God, y'all probably know who I'm talking about. Anyway, um, not Casey Holmes. It's another lady, she kind of looks like her. Um, anyway. She was raving about the peachy one, and so I got it, and they were on sale at Sephora. So, um, they're on sale at Sephora and Ulta. Um, let's see. Oh, this was on sale for $6. It's a Japanese highlighter, and I haven't used it yet, but I've swatched it, and it is freaking gorgeous. I mean, look at that. So, I'm very glad that I got that for only $6. It was like six seventy five dollars or something like that. Um... Oh, I also got the new Dose of Colors I Love Sarahi um, Bathe Highlighter, and I love this color. The reason I got it, I normally wouldn't have gotten it, and I didn't get the gold one, but this one is so unique to my collection. It looks very pink and dark in the pan, but it's so, I mean, you can blend it out to be a light pinky champagne color, and I love it. So I'm really, really glad I got that. What, Luna? What, baby? She wants down and she's not getting down in my room because I have a lot of stuff on the floor. And she's in her teething phase. So um, you can probably see like laundry. That's probably not good, but oh well. Um, next I got, these were on sale. This was $15, the S.A. Lauder Double Wear Concealer. The foundation is my holy grail. And so I wanted to try that, it was half off. Um, let's see. Oh, this was actually free. I got the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation for free. It was a diamond perk at Ulta one day and you had to just make a purchase or it was a $60 purchase or something. And it's very easy to find $60 worth of stuff. So, I got this with my purchase for free. I actually got two of them, but one of the shades wasn't right for me, so I ended up giving that away. 
What, baby? Oh, can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? Intermission. <laughs> what? What? Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. I don't like dogs looking me in the face, so she will learn that quick. <sighs> Let's see. I have so much stuff in here, you guys. All right, I wanted to try this, and it's not what I expected. This is the Physician's Formula Smudge Proof Brow Last Longwear Brow Gel. So it's not, um, the spoolie isn't in the product. I'll show you. It's actually a brush, and then you have to spoolie it out, which is okay, only because it lasts very long on my brows. So I'm okay with it. It's just not exactly, I mean, I don't know if I'd repurchase it. Oh no, you scratched up my neck. Oh, baby, you're okay. Now she wants down, of course. It's never good enough. Um, then I got the Urban Decay. This is from the last 21 Days of Beauty and I know there's about to be another one. So I've had this stuff for a while. Um, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I got two of these because they were half off in the shade Eden. Um, I do really like that. Um, I also got, I got these free with my points. Um, this is the Kopari Coconut Oil Lip lip oil, lip glossy, whatever. I haven't tried them yet either. Luna, hey. What? Are you ready to say bye to everybody? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Just a couple more things. All right. These also were on sale. Um, these are the Estee Lauder Pure Color Love Lipsticks, and I got two of those. I got a very out there color and then like an everyday shade, and I really like both of those, and I love the formula. I'm actually thinking about getting another one. Um, this one, actually, the Taylor here on YouTube had used it, I believe, in a, it was either this one or a mattifying, but I believe it was this Transformer Drops from Catrice. And I really, really wanted to try it. It's supposed to help make your makeup waterproof. So I'm gonna, I mean, if y'all wanna see this put to the test, let me know. I'll try it out. Um, let's see. Last thing, actually, no, I have two things. Wait, wait, yeah, that's not new. Okay, two things. So this I got with my birthday. I got a $10 off 25 for my birthday. So I got the Smashbox. Um, this is another uh, Vitela recommendation. She had used this and I freaking love this brown color. It's like a neutral, more cool tone brown and I really, really like that. So I wanted to try that out. And then last but not least, I got another Ofra highlighter and I love Ofra highlighters. So this is a whitish yellow color and it is gorgeous. I really hope I really like it. Um, hey, she wants y'all's attention, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I really, really like it. Um, I can't wait to try it out. Hey, don't show everyone your booty. <laughs> Stop. Um, that's my pet peeve. Don't show everyone your booty. Anyway, um, this is the shade Star Island and it's like really really light so for fair skin it'd be really really good where are you done are you are you wanting me to be done huh all right well we're gonna say bye now since she's all antsy and this is her time this is my lunch break so she's used to getting my full attention and she's not or are you or are you so we're gonna go have lunch and hang out until i have to put her back up so I'll see y'all next time. And if y'all want me to see, you know, do any of this stuff in a video, um, I may do like a first impression or something like that. Like, even though some of these aren't first impression, but you never know. Um, just let me know if you want to see it. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave.